guess what we're making? Come on, you gotta join us. Okay, we got gold bunny ears, we got carrots, we got all the cute stuff, and we're gonna work on a large wreath base today, and it's gonna be so much fun. So let's hop right to it. We've got our grapevine ready to rock and roll, and this is a big one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by getting our main pieces in, and for us, that's gonna be our ears and our carrots. Let's get the carrots in first, because when you mix these cute carrots with these ears and the ribbons we have planned out, it's stinking adorable. Y'all, make sure you're asking for the supply list in the comments. The carrots going first. And I'm gonna start with one kind of up high here, off to the side, and I've already put a cable tie through it so I can easily attach it. So we're gonna get the first piece put on right here. And, oh, make sure you gotta go in the right way, because if it's backwards, it's going nowhere. So I'm gonna get the first one on. It's a little wonky when you first start. But don't worry, we got this. I gotta take and uh, get it kind of up here to the right, and I want it to be this direction. Now, we may need to put one at the bottom too, but I'm gonna get my first piece in and kind of see how it moves around. Once I know what we're dealing with here, that'll tell me a lot as far as how um, how I can put the two pieces in, okay? So that one's in just to start, really good. Okay, so our second carrot, we wanna kind of cluster these up together, and I want this one to be a little bit lower, so right in here. So I'm okay with this, we can trim that little piece off. I'm gonna slide this back a little bit. Yay, I love it! The next one's gonna go right beside it. Kind of like snuggling up to it. So I'm gonna go through a couple of pieces of the uh, grapevine here and tuck it in. And then we're gonna have to do a little bit of a shake test to see if we need to uh, put some more ties in at the bottom. We'll see. We'll see how much she's gonna wiggle around. All right, the top one's in, the bottom one's in. So I think we will put one more tie down here on this one. Look how cute they are together. Just so that they, um, it doesn't end up twisting out too much. Because what I'm gonna make these, I'm gonna teach you how to make them properly so you can sell them to your customers. And, and when they open them in the mail, we wanna try to do our best to kind of foresee what could shift around. And so in this case, I feel like this could move like that and not look so appealing when they open it. Um, it's gonna be fine, but so let's put one a little bit lower. So I'm gonna poke a little hole back here and we'll put another little cable tie lower. No big deal. And there's no, you don't have to do that at first. You can kind of see what's gonna happen and then do it. So I just poke that with the awl and I come back in here. I'm using my long 14 inch cable ties. You could go shorter, uh, but I just find them easy to work with. All right, we're gonna try to go through just a couple of pieces here, just to keep this dude from flopping around too much. All right, and I'll tuck that in the back. And I'll just trim it off. Yay, okay, and these are gonna kind of be in this direction, where they're kind of up here in this quadrant of the design. Next step, is to put the ears in. The ears are gonna be really dramatic and they're gonna go right kind of where our bows are going. So we're gonna have a bow up top and a bow down low. So I want the ears to be popping out of them. So let's kind of get started. These have long stems and we pull in a little of that gold color. I'm just gonna gently give them a little bit of movement. And you can always do this with any stem you have, whether it's floral or not. Go slowly so you don't crease anything but you can gen generally give things a little bit of movement. So see, now they have a little curve to them instead of being flat. All of that kind of adds a little depth and dimension to your pieces. And that's one of my big pet peeves uh, where if you work on that, you can actually get more for your work when you're designing. So I'm gonna put this one here and let's go with this one, maybe right in here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a stem. Now don't worry that this is moving because we haven't even put a hanger on it. We don't even exactly know where our center is. We'll do that towards the end, okay? So this one's gonna go right in there and I am gonna just push it right down into the grapevine. Right here looking cute. So our first set of ears will be right here. I love it. Now my second set of ears is gonna be kind of down here in this zone. I'm leaving the stems a little bit long so we can manipulate them how we wanna curve them once the bows are in, but I'm thinking this one looks super cute kind of coming over the carrots a little bit. So right in here. So cute, I love this. Let's put that one down there. This bunny is so cute. He's all up in our wreath, him and his friends. So anytime you have a little bit of glue showing, I'm always gonna suggest you grab a little Spanish moss and you just go ahead and cover it up right now. That's my, my own little pet peeve and it helps things hold in place. Okay, so we got our ears in, we've got our carrots in, and now uh, next step is greenery. So our greenery stems are like this, they are long, and lush and they easily break into three sections. Just tear them down real easy. And then the top section, we can trim it off. 
And we're gonna be able to take and have three different sections that look exactly like this for our um, greenery as we go around. Now, shape this up. This one has a fern, it has a leaf, it has a berry, it's got all the things. Now, a bow is gonna go in here and then we're gonna need to reach out from the bow. So let's start um, kind of up here at this top section and put these in, okay? So I'm gonna give it a swirl and put the first one in here. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna grab my other two and we still need to do the same thing, shake hands. Now, some of these have this cool twig in here. And I'm gonna cut the twig out because we're gonna save that to put in um, at the end. Cause I wanna use those twigs to my, definitely to my advantage when I'm putting them in. So I'm getting some glue on this one. We're gonna come down a little bit right in here and fluff these out. Ooh, look at that. Let's do the greenery down here at the bottom. This stem, we're just gonna take and tear it down. Now, if you go to the supply list and you see some are password protected, that's because those are exclusively for our design school students. So just know if it's one of those, you won't have access to it unless you're in our class. Now I'm gonna fluff this out and separate it all where it's really look good. Looking good. There's my twigs I wanna save because I'm gonna treat those like the crowning glory that they are gonna be. All right, let's take and put a couple of these down here. And I know I'm gonna want one kind of coming in front of the ears down here at the bottom. Let's put this one here. Oh, I love that. Super cute. Look how cute this is. We got the little cluster of green berries coming up there. Oh, I love that. Look how cute. We're getting started. We're just barely getting going. And then let's have another little cluster here at the bottom. And this one could kind of come out from down below where the bow is gonna be down here. Look at that, not that be fun? So as of right now, we are saving a couple of pieces of greenery, and then we are going to be popping some of these fun moms in here too that are really full, that have that really good sensor. But we've got to get the bows in first because they're going to take up the most real estate. If you need the link to when we made these bows, and you didn't see how to make these bows, just let us know. They're also on the supply list for this project. But the long bow is going to come in and it's going to be right down here at the bottom. It's going to go right in this section with the carrots. And I'll put this right in here. Oh, it's going to be so cute. So excited about it. I'm going to slide it right in. Okay, and we're going to come back and tie this in tight. I'm trying to weave it back through the grapevine. All right. So once it's in, I'm going to trim off its little tail of the cable tie. But now you've got to go to work fluffing it up, okay? Because you, you've compacted it a little bit and we want to make sure, I want that ear to be kind of coming out the center of the bow. Yeah, it's it's perfect. Let me show you. Look how cute! Stink it cute. I can move it up a little since we're working on the bottom. Really, really cute. And that little bit of gold in that ribbon pulls in the gold from the ears. That was all part of the plan. So when I walk you through a design, I'm teaching you how to do that. Uh, and that's something you learn every week in design school, how to pull those elements together and the, the mechanics behind what we're doing and, of course, the techniques and tips that I've learned over the past 20, uh, I think we're 27, however many, a long time, a long time, <laughs> a lot of years. Oh, look how pretty. Bows in secure very nice. Now, my next bow goes at the top, so let's bring the wreath down. In this bow, we're going to shift the angle on it just slightly so it matches the angle of the ears and it's going to tuck in right here. Those ears coming out the top of the bow is just perfect. So grab your cable tie. We're going to run it around a few pieces of the grapevine here and I'll just tuck it in. I am paying attention to my angle I'm putting it on because to me, that's a really important detail. And, and once again, something we do in design school is we talk about options for placement and uh, why I am picking the one I'm picking. And... How to find the end of the cable tie. No, I found it. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. Trim it off. And then I want to hide that little bit, that little fat part of the cable tie. I just want to make sure it's not going to be visible. Oh, look how cute these little ears are coming out. I love that. All right. And just pull this all out. Look how cute. That black and white check is popping. So our bows are working opposite each other. And look how cute. We're doing really good. I love this overlapping the carrots. Okay, now I'm gonna cut these berries out right here because they are, oh, I want them a little bit shorter. 
So that's okay. If your stem needs to be just a little bit shorter, just trim it. We can come in and fix that. Now, I've got some greenery we're gonna kinda add at the end, but I'm ready to get these cute little puff balls in. And in this case, we're gonna not use the leaves. I'm just gonna push them down. These remind me of like, um, I speak for the trees. You know, you know, put it in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna trim these down on this bush so we get them all into individual stems. Now, these are just so fun because they almost look like little bunny tails. They're so poofy but they've got that pop of orange that we've got going in this whole design. So once I've trimmed them all down, here they are. Now I'm gonna take and pair them up together where they go into twos. And our first goal is we're gonna try to get a couple tucked in, um, just kind of tight to the bow to start with because they're so stinking cute. So let's put a couple here at the top. I love these. And so it kind of looks like the little bunny tail is orange. And make a little fat little, it's flowers, but I still like that little poofy part. Nice, two there. Let's go two up above here, and we're gonna make them into their own little cluster. And then out, off screen here, if you see me, I'm dipping them into glue. They're going into glue. So if you don't know what a uh, glue skillet is, we can definitely show you and tell you all about that. Just ask in the comments. And these two will go right here. And then we're gonna work two on this side of the bow. A longy and a shorty, and these are gonna come out a little bit more. We wanna work on developing the lines that we have created and kind of reinforce them with our floral choices and our greenery and then then we do it with our twigs too and we get really good lines all right now down here at the bottom i'm going to do a tall one and a short one and here i'm going to pop some right above the little ears they're so cute get a good amount of glue on there when you're going in i'm going to pop these in right here perfect and then i like to give them a little bend where their little florals heads kind of come forward Okay, so we got so far all of those. Whoa, it's so cute. Ooh, I love it. All right, let's come down. Now, I'm going to have a couple coming out the bottom, too. And I'm going to take a, get a lot of glue on this right down the bottom of the bow. Push this in right here. And give it a twist up. Oh, I like that. I got to turn these leaves forward. Can't, can't have them backwards. And then I think I'll take the last two here, kind of rocking out the right side here. I'm just gonna take this, go right into the wreath base, and these will be just right on this side. How cute is that? And I'm gonna give a little bit of a bend. Okay, oh yay! All right, I got a great shape going. Some of my funnest part, my funnest, it's the funnest. Uh, we're gonna put those twigs in, I'm gonna show you how. So we gotta do twigs. We're gonna finish up with our little bit of greenery. And the, the thing we wanna do with the greenery at this point is we had a good foundation started, but now we wanna soften all the edges of everything with our greenery. So I'm gonna take these and cut them into separate sections, uh, the couple of pieces I have left, and we're gonna use these to kind of soften the edges. So I know some would look great coming out of the top of the bunny head. So I'm gonna put a little bit right up here, the ears, and let those just kind of say, hello, I'm here for the party and just shoot right between the ears. We've got some other fern up here, so let me make sure it's not backwards. I don't like it backwards. And then I need a little bit more kind of supporting this piece here. So I'm gonna take this one, the green berry, and we'll kind of come down a little bit. So when I say reinforcing the line, like we have a direction going and we wanna reinforce it with some other flowers to kind of, uh, our greenery in this case, to kind of support the shape we've got going. I'm even bring a little bit of it out come out a little bit more like I like it all right now over to this side where we got the carrots automatically my bow is like anchoring hard down here at the bottom it looks amazing but I could use some more greenery to soften up into the carrots so I'm gonna do the same thing over there I'm gonna cut this spray uh, that we already had broke down into half and then we'll bring it in okay so what has to happen is I'm gonna have this go out between our little pom pom moms and pop it in right here. And now it kind of overlaps those carrots and softens them. I love that. In design school, we call that breaking the plane of different elements and it's a big deal to me and really important. Now, I'm gonna tuck in behind the bow a little bit here just to fill in with the other pieces of greenery. I've got some cute little, oh, I'm hitting my ribbon. Let me reload it with glue. So if you start hitting something, you lose your glue. There we go. I'm gonna tuck that in right there. 
Okay, and then let's come back on the left. Man, this is cute. And then I'm gonna kind of come, maybe just a little bit here, kind of going up into the other bowl. Just where they're slightly clashing here. I don't know. Oh, that's so cool. These ears are there. Oh my gosh. Okay, as promised, twig time. It's twig time. The twigs are kind of coming in. I'm gonna use the twigs just at the top because I love. Look at our down bow. Like our this bow is crushing it. And I think we can just use the twigs at the top to kind of balance out a little bit of the shape. So. I'm just gonna take these and I like to curl them because that's fun. Curl them all up and then we're gonna shape them up how we want. Just like we did the ears. You can shape all this. When you're shopping with us on Coolies.com, the stuff we sell, it, it, we really try to have good quality pieces that have good wires and bases so you can make pieces to last a long time that you're really proud of. Or if you wanna become a seller and we help you learn how to do that, I wanna make sure you know, um, I really believe in selling quality products. So your customers come back year after year. And that starts with great quality um, supplies to build your product out of. And then, of course, the great mechanics I'm going to teach you in design school. And the combination of all that and the community that you're going to find in our class is going to make you love designing like I do. Look how cute. Blue Marinos. you got to make this super duper adorable. I love how it turned out. Just ask for the supply list. We'll be happy to provide it for you. And guess what? I'll see you next time, Blue Marinos. Go have fun with flowers.